for example. Yeah, but then you you would encourage um, boosting because I mean you get boosting in Call of Duty, right? Yeah, true. But I I think we're looking at um, camping as being the bigger problem than boosting here, right? True. And if people want to boost themselves to a higher uh, persistent rank, then they can. That just means there'll be a higher priority threat much faster. My yeah. knife lunge does not seem to work for the for the life of me. I, I see the dude, I stab the dude, but he doesn't die. That's a downside. Definitely. Uh, another thing that you could do is that the, when you get marked as a priority threat, the area that uh, it tells the players that you're in could reduce in size the higher a threat you are up until the point where you're basically pinpointed and everyone is gunning for you. Yeah, um, they also have in, in uh, home from the night places where you and, and your allies died so you can kind of string together the dots. Oh, that's a very good idea. Um, for games with a spotting system, you could combine that uh, in a certain way. If high priority uh, targets are spotted, uh, the spotting should stay longer. Uh, but also to discourage just camping in general, I think spotting systems uh, as Battlefield has had since Battlefield 2 are very important. Um, especially the 3D spotting uh, as we see in Bad Company 2. Uh, one way I mean, you could, uh, have, um, you could have even simpler spotting, like uh, Call of War, the cartel. As long as you have a partner with you, like your co-op buddy, you can spot people without any device or equipment or anything. And it works very well, actually. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting idea, automatic spotting. Um, in Battlefield games, you have to manually hit a key uh, by default Q. Um, but it would be nice if, for example, if you put your sights on an enemy, they were automatically spotted. If they're in your scope or in your iron sights, they're spotted. Simple as that. I mean, it, it could... <laughs> this guy just crashed his helicopter. <laughs> um, you could add so that um, it's automatic spotting. Uh, I don't know, it might make things a bit of a mess. Uh, a bit of a mess, how so? Well, I didn't mean automatic spotting, I just meant spotting that you didn't always have to hit a key for. So if you sight an enemy with your scope or iron sights, they would be well, spotted. It, it would have to have like a simple condition, like all what is, you have to be close to your partner. But also it could be interesting if it was a feature that you could turn on and off in the server. Basically like everybody, you know where everybody is all the time, so it would always be constant action, but it would, it would be something uh, you could turn on and off. <laughs> God damn it, I'm being hunted by an APC. <laughs> now, if we wanted to make it uh, so that camping or was just horrendously punished and we want as little of it as possible, uh, one way would be simply to have automatic kill streaks, uh, airstrikes, dogs, that sort of thing call down upon you. If, say, you kill um, an enemy and then kill other enemies without moving any significant amount from the same spot. And not as, not as in moving left and right constantly would help, but as in if you, uh, you kill an enemy at spot X and then kill another enemy at spot Y, where you, spots being where you are, and you keep doing that and those spots aren't very far from each other, and then say after three enemies, you know, automatic airstrike. If you're inside a building, inside a building. automatic attack dogs. And yeah, the something just, to yeah. just get them moving. I mean, it can't be that difficult because uh, Duke Nukem Forever has it going with like, um, Basically, it has everybody running around shooting each other. So, I don't know, like, the, the priority threat thing seems to work, but this dude with a priority marker on his head seemed to just be creaming us, so it doesn't always work. So, it seems to work except when it doesn't. 
Yeah, that, that, yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Well, um, if also if your game has a spotting system, you could tie it into that. Uh, say you get uh, you kill an enemy, and if you're spotted, and then kill another enemy without being far from that, uh, then automatic airstrike or automatic attack dog sent after you. You could make it so that if you're on the move and you kill enemies, uh, you gain more XP than you would if you're. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be good. Uh, you get more XP for kills that aren't in the same spot. That's another way to reward it. Um. Hello? Yeah, I hear you. Just, um, I got murdered when I was trying to capture the uh, control point. Seems like a common thing in these games. Yeah, I mean, another thing is that Homefront rewards people for uh, defending the point. Basically, if somebody's trying to capture it and you kill them, you gain extra XP because you defended the point. So again, you're going to be camping around the point because you want that extra bit of XP. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other thing with spotting is that if you have 3D spotting like Bad Company 2, uh, it would be useful if, while the 3D spotting was extremely powerful and automatically went away after uh, about five seconds, it would be useful if instead it goes away very quickly if you run around a corner, say, you're moving, you break line of sight, it's gone in a second or two. But if you don't move, regardless of line of sight, the spot stays. Or if you move very little. So a sniper gets spotted and he's not moving, uh, that spot stays, including the 3D spot. That would make it a lot easier uh, for people to notice. Another thing is uh, you could have reduction of stamina. The more you stay in one place, the lower your stamina bar would go. And you could have stamina linked to things like lunging a knife, sprinting of course, jumping so you basically the more you don't move the they make it harder for you to move mm -hmm. well these all sound like great ideas uh, uh, so basically stamina would be um, you would have the most stamina if you were running and then re recharging your stamina and then running again Always on well the it could break the game in terms of some dude just moving around would get a, a lot of stamina so I guess you'd have to be running and killing at the same time. Well maybe you can't get more stamina, there's a max you can get but your maximum amount of stamina that you can have would go down and down the more you sit still. Is that your idea? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it would be like um, regenerating. Uh, it would like it would have its threshold, and then it would temporarily go above of that, right? Mm -hmm. If you want to be particularly mean to the campers in games with regenerating health, you could have the max amount of health you can regen go down the more you stay still. Yeah, or you could like trap them inside their area of camping with like this invisible field type thing. Uh, well, you mean in sort of a more sci-fi oriented game, like Halo? It doesn't have to make sense sometimes, but if it has to be sci-fi, I guess. Okay, so there's, if someone's camping, an invisible field goes up around them, what, what does that do? Like, no, it doesn't go up around them, like, instead of that, um, other players can call in, like, a field type thing around them, and it basically traps them in. So they're camping and now they can't move anymore. But they're already camping, they're already so they're still not moving. Still not moving. It, would, it would be like over a medium range area, and they, can't, they can still move around that area, but it's basically not designed to trap them, but basically narrow down the search for them. Uh, so similar to the priority threat marker, you know he's in this area. But, yeah, but it can't uh, leave the area. You see, that's the thing. In uh, Priority Threat, they, it can move from area to area. You'd see the marker in one area, and uh -huh. then it would move. So, basically, uh, 
you'd have it so that he'd be trapped and he can't move and you can narrow down the search. It's a priority threat marker where they can't leave the marker. That's actually a brilliant idea. If you're camping too much, you get X kills, say, your priority threat, and if you get elevated to the next level of priority threat, then you just can't leave. You're trapped and you can't run away. And but again, it comes you. down to balance. Like, um, you can't trap somebody who's moving. If somebody is moving a lot, don't trap them. But if somebody is just like in one area getting kills constantly, not moving, then you trap them. Well, this would tie into the mechanic we are talking about earlier, where if you're making X kills, but those kills are uh, X amount of meters from each other, then that indicates you're on the move and you're okay. But if you're getting too many kills in the same uh, in the same radius of X meters, then you get marked as a threat, and then you get the camper shield called down upon you, and you can't leave that threat area. Basically, that's the idea, right? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Sounds great. Anything else about Homefront? Then cafe. Uh, like I said, there was the UAV, and uh, later on they say you unlock the thermal. I don't know if that's been patched or something because they said it was uh, unbalanced or something. But basically, the thermal really can help you spot some people. I mean, if it's anything like the sniper scope or uh, the um, whenever you have air support, you can see people in thermal. So if it's anything like the the sniper scope or air support, it's uh, probably really easy to spot people. And I mean. If it's in the wrong hands, it can make trouble for you. Well, so thermal is something snipers could use against you, but you can use against them. Is that what you're saying? I mean, it, it works both ways. Um, yeah, what I'm saying is, is like, if it's if it falls into camper hands, thermal is basically a camping tool. That's yet another camping tool. But if it falls into the hands of a runner and gunner, then you spot these people and they can't sneak up on you but you can't always see them because they're hiding somewhere so it works both ways oh wait is the thermal you're talking about the same as the thermal scope or is it some sort of overhead thermal imaging or scan UAV type I think imaging? it's thermal goggles I'm not really sure how it works it might be a scope or it might be thermal goggles I'm not sure hmm. interesting well home front sounds like a bunch of fun for the people still playing at this point poor chaos I mean it can be fun but it, it really needs to be on smaller maps with people just moving around trying to get objectives well do you think it well, can be fixed could... simply by them making better maps for it given that they're the maps are fine in my opinion well most of them are okay but they need to force priority threats in all modes they also need to um, they need to just make it so that it's not so easy for somebody to hide Mm -hmm. Given that the developers are gone, what are the chances of these things being patched in? They're low, man. Nah, uh, that's unfortunate. Well, uh, that's Homefront uh, talk for today, and campaign talk. We'll see you next time. Sure. Okay. Signing off.